بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي براذر سيسترز السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and today's uh, lesson uh, it's one of the lessons that in our course uh, and the course will contain some advanced elements like arch dome uh, curved beam uh, tapered beam inclined wall curbles and how we can uh, make shop drawings for um, modeling and make shop drawings for uh, like this uh, advanced or uh, special structure uh, for a um, beam and column or uh, multi-story building i have a course uh, for that you so you can check check uh, that out also uh, <coughs> on, on my channel and uh, for today uh, i would like to uh, show you how we can create a uh, shop drain for an inclined uh, or a sloped wall okay so just let's uh, let's start uh, uh, we have two uh, type of walls architecture wall and structure wall you see if i use the structure wall i can use a river for that but uh, for architecture wall i cannot do it but uh, there's a way to to solve this so i will use this one uh, so i can show you that this way also to change it to uh, structure wall okay just by clicking here uh, and uh, here from here we can use what one type let's say generic uh, 300 millimeters and <coughs> after that let's say we have uh, 2000 2000 millimeters and just uh, right click cancel it again cancel or uh, escape two times uh, by selecting this one we see that uh, this the uh, the unconnected uh, height is so the height I want to be uh, because we have 2000 is uh, 1200 I think is enough okay if we go to 3d we see <coughs> we have uh, this kind of wall. <coughs> I'm sorry let's see this is 3000 and the height let's say 2000 I think is better uh, we can see it better okay after that how we can make it uh, slope this wall and just go to uh, simply by uh, go to edit profile and delete these two profiles uh, these, these two lines sorry uh, we have 2000 so let's say 1500 and after that connect to uh, that one okay let's click finish you see now we have uh, this one if we go to uh, the structure, uh, even if we go to level one, uh, go to structure rebar, we uh, the rebar shape definition could uh, include hook. <coughs> okay, just click OK, and we uh, bring some rebar shape from here. Structure rebar shape, just open, uh, bring, uh, select all, and bring all. Here we have this wall. Okay, so if we make uh, a section for that, so we can put uh, the reinforcement, go to re structure rebar, cancel it. You see this is not structure so just just by clicking here uh, make structure and i can disable the analytic because i do not need this one uh, so now became a structure and i can put rebar for that <coughs> you see i can uh, put rebar for that if it's uh, let's try if it's not structure uh, go to rebar okay you see we cannot add rebar okay so that's why I changed this this one to structure. Okay, but before before uh, putting a rebar, I have to set the cover. So just uh, click cover and uh, select this one. And from here you can choose uh, covers because uh, I have one cover, so I can add here uh, from the here the uh, setting. <coughs> I can name uh, rename this one to wall cover, so I can. Uh, recognize it for later if you ha have some some covers like for beams columns walls slab and uh, things like that okay so just click ok <coughs> and set we we have uh, this one okay so we don't have any problem for that uh, after that we go to with rebar 
you just click OK and click here. By the way, you see, just by clicking here, uh, we have to set, set the rebar. The rebar number, let's say we have five, and uh, of course we can. Uh, sorry, we can go uh, go to with minimum, so I can uh, see the uh, two lines or the thickness of the of the rebar. Uh, again, just click here here from the layout. I have one bar, so I have to use because it's wall. I will use the maximum spacing. The maximum spacing will be 150 and enter okay if i make another section uh, longitudinal sh section so go to view i can just make another section from here to here i can bring it to up to here and you see now we have uh, this one of course i can bring it to this side up to the the cover and i have to uh, bring it up up to cover also here okay so now I have no problem with that, but as is here, uh, the rubber is straight and my wall is, is inclined or uh, sloped. So how can I solve this one? Just by clicking here and click varying. Varying rebar set. So uh, now we have uh, this rebar set. <coughs> if you go back to the uh, level uh, so, uh, section one one, I can, what I can do, I can just uh, click here and make mirror for other side. I will make a copy for that, okay? So it's very good. Again, go to structure, rebar. I want to make for the other side. So from here, uh, from here I can change the, the, the side. So just go to perpendicular. But about the shape, as here we have shape zero, zero, and we have the uh, many shapes. So how can I uh, see the shape for this? Just click here in these three dots, and I can see the shape here. Uh, I will use this shape for this one. Just click it. Cancel it after that. And go to maximum spacing. Okay, so let's let's uh, say like this, and go to section two two. You see, we have some problems with the here. If we s uh, bring this one up to the last one, I can't do it. But if I bring it this up, it will uh, go outside the, 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 the wall. And if I say varying, it will not work. If I say constraints <coughs> and click finish, let's say, and again, varying, it will not work for, for me. So what's the, uh, the problem for that? So just delete, delete this one. I want to use another type of, of rebar, uh, which I can uh, use for this one, which is area rebar. Just click here and click the wall. As you know, structure area reinforcement symbol family is loaded in project. Would you like to load one? Let's say yes. Uh, if we have area reinforcement here, <coughs> or I can leave it uh, I say no and pick some lines after line just like this as you see here this is the the, 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 uh, the major direction uh, the major direction because I, I put the, the vertical ones so I don't need uh, the, the the vertical one again so uh, for the major direction, I'll say this is the major direction, or maybe this one, the major direction, and I will uh, uncheck the, the major direction, okay? Interior major, so I will uncheck these two. This one, I will use bar number four maybe, and uh, hook, uh, let's say 200 <coughs> again number 4 90 degree and also this one 200 and just click apply okay you see now we have uh, this kind of cool um, rebar set if 
we go to uh, 3D view, we cannot see anything. No problem. As you see here, uh, by selecting this one, I can select the wall, or let me first go to the realistic, and I can select the wall, right click, uh, override graphic in view by element, and I can, or I can uh, press tab so I can use this uh, wall, right click, override by element, and to transparency, yeah go to with 80 percent apply okay and now i can use this one and uh, go to view uh, graphics and view as solid okay go to with fine again this one so i want to see all of the reverse in uh three <coughs> in solid so one by one i'll select one by one and make it solid and I think now everything is, is set and everything is good. You see? Here. So by, by this way we could uh, make uh, this one. Of course, of course, we can, we can uh, delete these, these two vertical lines. But I, 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 would, I want to show, you, uh, to show you. I can delete these two and select the, the error reinforcement and uh, click the major lines also. You see? The measure again by 200. This one also, uh, let's say that we, we don't need 200. You see now, we could, uh, so we can, we can do it by two ways. The first one by using rebar and uh, saying varying for this one, and the second one by area reinforcement. So, this is for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like and share this uh, uh, video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank